In this video we're going to solve example 1.2 in which you are asked to calculate some average speeds for a speed skater. The problem reads, an Olympic speed skater registered the times below. Find the skater's average speed for each event and express it in meters per second. So you're given uh, some data. I'm going to write it on the screen now. Now for each of these races we are going to compute the average speed the same way. The uh, relationship that we have that defines average speed is given by uh, the distance that is covered divided by the time that it took to cover that distance. So for race number one, we're going to compute average speed by dividing 1,500 meters by the time. Now the time is given in minutes and seconds and fractions of a second. And we need to convert that into seconds if we're going to wind up with an answer that is in meters per second. So 2 minutes and 2 seconds, 0.96, is going to convert into uh, 122 seconds, uh, 0.96. So when we uh, put those numbers into our calculator and then compute the average speed for that race, we're going to find that it comes out to be 12 point two zero. I'm rounding off to the nearest hundredth of a meter per second here. And those are going to be our units, meters per second. Race number two, it's the same technique, but the numbers are different. So average velocity, it's still change in position over change in time. So this time it's going to be 5,000 meters divided by the time. And here the time is 7 minutes, 23 seconds, and some change. And that's going to convert into 440 3.61 seconds. And so that, when you punch it into the calculator, is going to come out and give you 11.27 uh, meters per second. And then finally, number three, the last race, the longest one, uh, again, average velocity is the change in position, which is 10,000 meters this time over the change in time. So now we have 15 minutes, 1.35 seconds. That's going to turn out to be uh, 901 second, 0.35. And so that average speed is going to come out to be uh, 11.09 meters per second. And that is how you solve example 1.2.